it's me, uh, your Mary, uh, Mary Mary, uh, judge of Exploding Kitten Tournaments, usually taking place at CoolyCon every year for like years, a uh, really long time. We played Exploding Kittens. Um, it's been great. I've given away so many Exploding Kittens. It's been fabulous. Uh, I hope you've been having a really good time playing it. Um, yeah, it's just an awesome little game. So, uh, Exploding Kittens. This is the original edition. Uh, in here are instructions. So, there's also an instructional video on ExplodingKittens.com slash how. Uh, you can... You, they might do a better job of explaining how to play this game than I will, but, you know, details. So, um, in the older versions of the game, it said to only draw a hand size up to four. That is incorrect now. You draw a hand size starting with seven cards. Um, yeah. Let's see, is this one that says that? I don't know. Anyway. There's all sorts of really cool cards in this game. Uh, let's go over them real quick. There's Exploding Kittens. Uh, you must show this card immediately unless you have a diffuse card you're dead in this game. Uh, that's right here. It's, it's why it's called Exploding Kittens. Um, so you discard all of your cards including, including the Exploding Kitten if you don't have a diffuse. If you have a diffuse to explode the to diffuse this exploding kitten, you put that diffuse anywhere you want back in the deck. It is amazing. Uh, nope cards. Do you can uh, stop any action except for an exploding kitten or diffuse. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And you can nope and nope, and you can continue noping nopes until you've forgotten what you're noping. Uh, let's see here. You can even play a nope on a special combo. That's pretty important. Uh, attack cards. You can immediately end your turn or turns without drawing and without drawing and force the next player to take two turns in a row. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. If the victim of an attack card plays an attack card, their turns are immediately over and the next player must take two turns. So it just keeps going around like that. If if you all play attack cards, the it's just crazy. It's so much fun. Alright, so skip. Uh, immediately end your turn without drawing a card. If you play a skip card as a defense to an attack card, it only ends one of the two turns. Two skip cards would end both, so you wouldn't have to draw, uh, yeah, two cards on an attack. A favor, you can force any player to give you one card from their hand. They choose what card to give you. A shuffle card, shuffle the draw plot pile without viewing the cards until told to stop. Uh, that's useful when you know there's an exploding kitten coming, like say someone gets to play a diffuse, so they got to put that exploding kitten second from the bottom, so when they do their end of the turn card, you knew your card was going to be that exploding kitten, so you can shuffle it, and then you don't know where it ends up. So it could be your card, it could not. It's just, uh, add some fun and randomness to the game. All right, and then there's also see the future. Peek at the top three cards from the draw pile and put them back in the same order. Don't show them the cards to the other players. So that just lets you see if there's, I mean, what's coming. So you can see if there's a exploding kitten coming. If you do that, you can play shuffle. Uh, so then you might shuffle the exploding kitten back down. And then you could play an attack card and force the player next to you to draw two cards. Or you could see the future, see if there's an exploding kitten com coming, then play an attack card so you'd force the player next to you to try to take some uh, evasive action there. So uh, these are really cool. Um, the cat cards, there's four of each of them, and they're powerless on their own, but if you collect any two matching cat cards, you can play them as a pair to pair to steal a random card from any player. They can also be used in special combos. Special combos are awesome. Uh, three of a kind, it's ex the exactly exactly the same as two of a kind, but you get to name the card you want from the other player. 
And if they have it, you get to take it. If not, you get nothing. So if you know another player has a defuse, you can take their defuse. It is so funny. I've done that before. It's great. Uh, if you have five different cards, any five cards with different titles, so if you had an attack, skip, and three different cats, you could play all those. If you have all five different cats, you could play all those. Any combination of any cards, but they all have to be different. Anyway, if you have any five different cards, you get to go through the discard pile and take any single card you'd like. And you can grab the pile quickly and choose your card so you don't get nope, because people can nope your combos. Okay, just so we're clear. Um, on the other side of here, which I think is where we started, is how it works. Uh, let's see here. In the deck of cards there are some exploding kittens. You play the game by putting the deck face down face down and taking turns drawing cards until someone draws an exploding kitten. When that happens, the person explodes. They are now dead and out of the game. Except when you play a diffuse. They are funny. I'll show you all these cards in the deck in just a second. They're pretty cute. Um, basically, if you explode, you lose. If you don't explode, you win. And all the other cards will lessen your chances of getting exploded by exploding kittens. So to set up, you remove all the exploding kittens and diffused cards from the deck. Shuffle the remaining deck and deal seven cards face down to each player. Oh, this is a newer version. It has, it has the right instructions. So if your, your instructions say four cards, that's wrong. It's seven cards now. Uh, deal one diffused card to each player so that everyone has a hand of eight cards total, and that includes the diffused card. Each player starts with a diffused card. It is the most powerful card in the game. These are the only cards that can save you from exploding kittens. If you draw an exploding kittens instead of getting exploded, you can play the diffuse card and, and reinsert the kitten back into the draw pile anywhere you'd like in secret. So you can do it underneath the table. You can turn around and figure out, you know, well, gosh, there's mom. She's four turns away from me. Let's put it right on her turn. Yeah, you always got to explode your mom. Uh, let's see here. Try to get as many diffuse cards as possible. It will keep you from exploding. Uh, let's see here. Set up. Insert enough exploding kittens back into the deck so there's one fewer than the number of people playing. Remove any extra exploding kittens from the game. For example, for a four player game, insert three exploding kittens. For a three player game, insert two exploding kittens. This ensures that everyone eventually explodes except for one person. Then you insert the extra diffuse cards back into the deck. Two player variant, well, hmm, they're on the instructions if you want the two player variant. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to pretend that we have more friends than we actually do. Uh, yeah. All right. Hey, you, you be nice. Stop laughing. Alright, uh, shuffle the deck and put it face down in the middle of the table. Pick a player to go first. Uh, let's see, you can choose. A really good way to pick how a player goes first is to um, decide who's cleaning the litter box last. So you'll ensure you go quicker than your younger brother who never cleans the litter box. Take your, taking your turn, gather all eight of your cards into your hand and look at them. Do one of the, do one of the following. Pass, play no cards. Play, play a card by placing it face up on top of the discard pile and following the instructions on the card. Uh, after you follow the instructions on the card, you can play more cards. You can make, play as many cards as you'd like. End your turn by drawing a card from the top of the draw pile into your hand and hoping it's not an exploding kitten. This is different from most cards in that you end your turn by drawing a card. Play continues clockwise around the table. Remember, play as many or as few cards as you'd like, then draw a card at the end of your turn. Ending the game. The last player who hasn't exploded wins the game. And you won't ever run out of cards in the draw pile because you inserted enough exploding kittens to kill all but one player. And then it goes on for neat strategies. I, I don't want to ruin all the strategi strategizing fun by reading all that, but um, it's on the instructions. It's great. 
So now we get to the deck here. And we're supposed to remove all the exploding kittens and all the diffuses. So here's exploding kittens. Like here's one. Let's see, what is this exploding kitten doing exactly? Oh, cat here in warp core. So yeah, that's a bad idea. Cat here gets everywhere. Uh, this one, he is snacking on, looks like dynamite. Also, bad idea, don't snack on dynamite. Let's see here, he is playing with a grenade. Yeah, don't do that either. Launch, yes, no, also a bad idea. Don't play with the launch button. And these diffuses stop kitties from exploring the world. So think of them as laser pointers. I mean, they are laser pointers, but yeah, think of them as laser pointers. You're distracting the kitty. So this one, rub belly, that's important. Well, some cats have danger zones, but we'll get into that at another day. Uh, let's see here, kitty, give kitty a snack. That's a diffuse. Oh, here's a laser pointer. So that's what I'm talking about. Laser pointer for the kitty. You can do yoga with your kitty. Diffuse, a 3 a.m. flatulence. So yeah, you, the kitty's distracting you essentially, but I'm sure you'll get up and see what kitty's up to now. And then this one is uh, diffused via kitten therapy, because, you know, kittens need therapy. But yeah, so let's see here. How should we do this? I don't have a whole lot of room here. So we'll pretend, we'll pretend that there's um, three of us, I suppose. Let's see, make sure this is well and shuffled. Lots of great cards in here. Here's a beard cat. It's pretty funny. It's not focusing the greatest, but that's okay. See the future. Ooh, it's upside down. Rainbow Ralphing Cat, also upside down. It doesn't really matter if they're upside down or not. I, I generally, for the competitions, you'll see I put these in sleeves. It's because they get used so much that I don't want the corners to bend and give anybody an unfair advantage. Um, I highly recommend sleeves, and then it doesn't matter what orientation the cards are either because you won't be able to tell if one's the wrong way. So just going to give these a quick shuffle. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I'm not quick. Not quick as shuffling. That's okay. Details. Alright, those are probably good enough for our purposes. So each person will get a diffuse. Oop, you can't see that one. All right. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. Then extra diffuses will go into the, for three of us, we'll have all four exploding kittens. So let's see here. For our purposes, I'm gonna Deal face up so I can show you what's going on. Deal seven cards. Alright, so this is the remaining deck. It's not very thick. Games usually go pretty fast. I suggest doing the best two out of three. Um, if you're playing with a lot of people. Uh, sometimes it's just fun to keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing because this game is hilarious. Insert exploding kittens. And then you shuffle again. Because I just put an exploding kitten, second from the top. Who wants to explode right off the bat? Of course, there aren't a whole lot of cards in here, so there's a good possibility that somebody's going to explode in a reasonable amount of time and have to use one of their diffuses. I think on the instructions on the uh, internet, it says to only put like one or two extra diffuses in the deck. I put all of them in there just because living life on the edge. Okay, let's see here. Seven cards, diffuse. There should be seven cards. I hope I counted right. 
I did. Okay. Diffuse. Now look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll say we'll say my hand gets to go first because why not? These hands are imaginary, and I definitely cleaned the litter box way before these imaginary people did. Alright, so I'm going to see if I have anything neat going on here. Uh, let's see. Well, there is no discard pile yet, so I can't do a combo of five. Because I have five different, I think I have five different types here. So I could go through, I, so I want, I probably want to save my cards, but we're going to play a See the Future to see if I got any exploding kittens coming up. Ooh, look at that. A shuffle, a diffuse, and a diffuse. Well, we got to put those back. Uh, let's see here. I really don't want, well, that will give that person a diffuse, but also me a diffuse if they skip anybody. Oh, well, we'll just draw a card. Got to shuffle. So that ends my turn. Draw, end. All right, so that goes to, goes clockwise. So that would go to this person next. They have two hairy potato cats. They're going to play their hairy potato cats and take, and they're going to um, so summon of their choice. So either this imaginary person or me will have to give them a card. Uh, we get to choose what card we give them. Recommended, do not get rid of your diffuse right off the bat. Uh, let's see here, because that's what's going to keep you from exploding. So we'll say, since I did see the future, they're probably going to want us to know what uh, what I'm up to. So they'll want to take my hairy potato cat. I'm going to give them my hairy potato cat. I figure they don't have any more because they already played two of them. All right. Next up, they get to draw a card. They get an extra diffuse. Draw, end. All right. Next up. This hand. What have they got here? Oh, they also have two of a kind. Where they're they're totally gonna go for that. They're gonna do beard cat. Two beard cats. So they get to pick somebody, and uh, the the person that they pick gives them a card of their choice. Uh, let's see here. Well, we're picking on me. Let's pick on me some more. So they will. I'll give them a catermelon. Not knowing that they already have a catermelon. Oh wait, no, I'm too late. All right, I had two catermelons, but that's okay. I'm not going to give them any of my so-called good cards. All right, so they get to draw a card. They also get that second diffuse, and I'm going no. They didn't play an attack. All right, so this early in the game, sometimes it starts out kind of mellow and gets more cutthroat as you go along. So now it's my turn. Let's see here. I have another see the future. Let's do that. Taco cat. Oh. And taco cat. Okay. We got a taco cat, a rainbow ruffing cat, and another taco cat. So no exploding kittens. Have to put them right back the way they go. Uh, let's see here. I know they each got an extra diffuse. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. I do not, no longer have multiples of five, so I can't take from the discard pile. I don't have three of a kind, so I can't declare a card from their hands. So I drew a card, I drew my taco cat, and pass turn. So they've got two diffuses. Wow, they're really one up in me here. Maybe I shouldn't have let them pick on me. Um,. Let's see here. They got a favor card. Favors are pretty cool. Uh, in addition to two of a kind, the favor card does exactly what the two of a kind does. So one player must give you a card of their choice. And they are going to use it. And because I am the popular player, I guess, 
they will get one of my cards. I'm going to give them my other Cattermelon. They got two cards and my Cattermelon. They will draw a card. And they get that Rainbow Ralphing Cat. Can you see that? No, that was too dark. There we go. So they'll get that. Now it goes to this player's turn. They're going to attack. going to attack this time and make me take two turns. Okay, so attack is pretty cool. Um, end your turn without drawing a card so they don't draw a card. Force the next player to take two turns so I'm effectively taking their turn and mine. Uh, I can, if I so desire, can play a skip. I'm going to. That skips one of the two turns I have to, I have to play. And then... I will draw my card and get a taco cat. Well, that was pretty good. All right. So that was my turn. My turn is end, draw, end. All right. Next up is this person with an insanely large hand and two diffuses yet. Um, they're going to play an attack card and make the player next to them go two turns. Can't believe we haven't drawn an exploding kitten yet. Um, attack let's see so they have to go twice they are going to play see the future there's a nope there's a see the future oh. and there's another nope so that's where all our nopes went they're in this in the middle somewhere all right so you got to put those exactly the same way you drew them you don't get to put them on the bottom you don't get to put them in the middle they go right back up in the top in the order you check them out in. So they are going to be like, oh, boo, yeah, I get to, I get to uh, take two turns here. So they get a nope, and they get to see the future. No big deal. Uh, they're probably going to be like, well, so that ended their turn. Uh, they, this person played an attack, so they drew two cards. It's my turn now. I really don't have anything, so I'm just going to draw a card. It is a nope. That'll come in handy another time. That draw end. All right. So that brings us back to imaginary player number one. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, that lamp is so bright. I probably shouldn't. Uh, anyway. So let's see here. This player is going to ask for a favor from this player since they have a lot more cards than I do. What card are they going to give away? They're probably going to give them a hairy potato cat. Because they don't have a match to a hairy potato cat. And then this player is going to go, aha! Now I have two hairy potato cats. Give me a card. And they're going to go, well gosh, that that's, that's not cool. Let's see, they probably don't want to give away their catermelons. Ah, playing cards! No, that doesn't belong there. Alright, they're going to give them their see the future. Alright, so now they got the see the future. And then they're going to go, okay, okay. Well, now I either have a draw card or I can play the see the future. And they're going to be like, I'm going to play the see the future just to make sure there is no exploding kittens. There is indeed an exploding kitten there. I'm going to be like, alright, well shoot. There is an exploding kitten. What do I do? Oh, ooh, I have an attack card. So they're going to do that. So they have less in their hand by a whole lot by now. Um, they've only got five cards left, but they know that the attack card will force this player to take two turns, one of which is an exploding kitten. Um, so they're going to make this person go. This person is going to be like, well, gosh, I have two catermelons. I guess I will play my catermelons and say, I want your, I would like a card. Who are they going to pick on? They're probably going to pick on me. So I'm going to be like, nope, you cannot have my card because I can nope their double. And they're going to be like, I'm going to nope your nope give me a card. And they're like, fine, you can take a card. And they're going to get a shuffle from me because 
that's as good as it gets. And then they're going to be like, all right, fine. We can either draw a card or we can play an attack on you. So now they have played an attack. They have played an attack. It comes to me. I have to play, take two turns because it's skipped all the way to me. I'm like, okay, okay, no big deal. Uh, let's see here. What have I got? Since I, since they can't keep their big mouth shut about that exploding kitten, I'm going to play a shuffle. Nobody has a nope. They're not going to nope me. We're just going to give this a quick shuffle. Or not quick shuffle as the case may be because I am a slow shuffler. Alright. Shuffled. That ends my turn. I'm going to draw a card. It's another shuffle. I put that into my hand because draw and all right, so then that brings us to this person. They've got two catermelons. They're going to totally use those. They're going to be like, all right, it's getting down to the wire. we got two diffuses. I'm in a pretty good place. They're going to ask this person if they can have one of their cards because they figure out of those three, at least one is a diffuse because there have been no exploding kittens yet. And they're going to like, neener, neener, here's a shuffle. And I'll be like, all right, fine. <sighs> Sigh. All right, and they're going to draw a card. Ooh, and that's not a bad card to draw. They drew a nope. It's a jack and nope It's a really funny card. Let me see if I can show this to you guys. Maybe, maybe it'll work out. Can you see that? jack and nope Is it backwards? I don't know. Anyway, so they got a, they got a jack and nope the, the, the artwork on these cards is just so funny. You're going to love it. So that leads us to this player's turn. All right, so they really don't have anything they can play. They've got a hand of two diffuses. So they're going to draw a card. And they also going to nope. Those lucky dogs. All right, so then it comes to me. I'm going to be like, all right, well, I've got two taco cats. I'm going to play those, and I'm going to ask for a card. And they're going to be like, well, either I nope her taco cats, or she gets my nope or a diffuse. So they're going to nope my taco cat and then this player just to be a jerk is going to be like nope I'm noping your nope and they're like oh no I just noped their nope and they nope my nope so I have to give her a diffuse because they have to give me one of their cards two thumbs up for me all right so that's that is going to be the end of my turn I'm going to draw a card it is not an exploding kitten it's another shuffle Right, so but that's my that's my turn. Draw end. All right, so that leads us to this person. They really don't have a whole lot they can do. They still got two diffuses. They don't have any doubles. They don't have five of a kind. They don't have five of a different kind, and they don't have three of the same kind. So they're gonna draw a card. Draw end. They got a taco cat. This person has got nothing too. Like oh my gosh, I got one card left. They got a beard cat. Awesome. It's not an exploding kitten, so they're not like totally like unlucky. And then it comes to my turn, and I'm gonna be like, well, I got two shuffles, I'll save those for later. Oh no, I do an exploding kitten. So I gotta play one of my diffuses. This is the only thing that can't be noped. Well, two things. Diffuses can't be noped and exploding kittens can't be noped. So I got but I have a diffuse, so I can put this exploding kitten anywhere I want to back in this deck. All right, so because these guys are imaginary and yeah, because they're imaginary, I don't have to hide it behind my back or underneath the table. So I'm just going to be like, all right, well, this card I draw is going to be mine. We're going to make that guy draw the one underneath it. All right, so I'll draw this one. It is a, oh no, that ended my turn. Anyway, so drawing an exploding kitten ends your turn immediately. You have a diffuse. Um, you don't draw a card to end your turn because the diffuse ended your turn. So it's this person's turn. They have... Well, let's see. What are they going to do? Hmm. They're probably going to shuffle because they don't know that I made a mistake. So they think they have, they have a good inkling that I put the exploding kitten right on top. 
So they're going to shuffle, so we're going to shuffle this for them. It's like the only thing left they have got hope for. Oop. Rainbow Ralphing Cat, go back in there. Alright, so we do that, and they draw a card. Oh, they drew an exploding kitten! No! Diffuse it. They get to put this right back on in here. They're going to continue the love of putting the exploding kitten right on top. That ended their turn. That leads to this person. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, I have nothing. They get the exploding kitten and they're like, okay, whew, I have a diffuse. All right, so that ends their turn. They're going to continue the love with putting the exploding kitten right on top. Some people, if like... You can be strategic and like pick a person in the table that you want to put the exploding kitten on. Doesn't always work out that way because sometimes people have attacks or shuffles or whatever. So it's like it's more random, but you can also be strategic. So like just just have fun with it. It can be kind of hard. All right, so that ended their turn. They put the exploding kitten where they wanted to. Now they go, aha! I'm going to shuffle this deck because I think you put the exploding kitten right on top. So we just shuffle this up. Shuffle the deck. Make sure I didn't leave the exploding kitten on top. And then I draw my ending card. It is skip. And that goes in my hand. Draw end. So that's the end of my turn. And this person goes, oh my gosh. We're getting down to the wire. Where do I draw? Alright, rainbow, rainbow Ralphing Cat. That can go right into my hand. Draw end. This person goes, oh geez. Alright, draw end. I go, okay. Well, I'm not doing too bad. I think I'm going to play... Hmm. I'm going to play skip. And skips are pretty cool. End your turn without drawing a card. There. I won't put it into shadow. End your turn without drawing a card. So that goes right into the discard. I don't draw a card. That leaves... Now this doesn't force my player on my left to draw an extra card. I just get to end my turn without drawing a card. It is not an attack. And they go, okay. Okay. Well, we got a rainbow roughing cat now. We can, we can make... We can, we can ask for a card from somebody. So they're going to do that. And they're going to they're gonna target me because I've been picked on this entire game and I'm like okay well you guys can't have the special card I have in my hand so I'm gonna get but I don't say that because that would just ruin all the fun and then so I give them the shuffle alright so that uh that takes care of that draw oh gosh I drew another exploding kitten they defuse it and they can put it wherever they want for sake of quickness we're just gonna have them put it on the top and this person is like, okay, okay, well, let's see how bad it is. They're going to play See the Future and draw the top three cards. And they're like, oh, geez. That is the end of this player. They don't have another Diffuse. They're exploded out of the game. That Exploding Kitten goes out of the game. This goes into the discard. And I go, oh, gosh, it's just between left-hand imaginary player and me. Okay. So I like... Deep breaths. Draw a card. I got a favor. Alright, but draw end. They get to go and they're like, hmm. They were brave enough to just draw a card. Should I be brave enough to just draw a card? I think they're going to do it. Oh, and they got another taco cat. Alright, oop. That is my alarm going off. Sorry, folks. Alright. So next up, I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to play my favor. I'm going to ask them for a card, and then they're going to give me a shuffle because they want to use the geep. They're double. They're double taco cats. All right, so I will draw a card. End my turn. Rainbow Ralphin Cat. And then they're going to use their last two cards. So I know they don't have a diffuse anymore, but they're going to use their last two cards and be like, give me one of your cards. And I'm going to be like, oh, no. Here's a rainbow Ralph and cat, and they're going to be like, oh, darn. It's not something cool. I'm like, yep, draw a card. End your turn. And I win, because they drew an exploding kitten, and they don't have a diffuse. 
So, that leaves me with these two cards, a diffuse and a shuffle, left in my hand. And hey, considering how much I picked on myself this game, it's amazing that I actually won. So, that is the essence of how you play Exploding Kittens. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the Xena Jade channel, Xena Jade Creations channel. Uh, hopefully, when this video goes live, I will be available in chat so I can answer any questions in person. Uh, if you have any other questions, yeah, just hit me up. It's all good. I don't mind answering questions. I also have a shop on Etsy. As you can see, it's Zenith Jade, and it's just zenithjade.com. I have my own fancy URL. It just makes it so much easier to get to. Uh, yeah, so you guys have a great night, and watch for the next video that I'm going to put up here sometime soon. All right. Bye.